Don't give up about paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me a million dollars. Hey beauties, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're doing a curly hair tutorial. If you guys missed it, last week's video we reviewed some Kim Kimball products. We also did a little demo and showed you how I use them. And this week we're coming back with another Kim Kimball round. This is my first time curling my own hair, so I am super excited to show you guys the results and show how my experience went. For products, we're using the Kim Kimball 1 inch digital curling wand as well as the Kim Kimball heat protectant. And just to show you a little close up of the curling wand, I love it because it has so many cool features. It has the stand to hold it up when you place it down on your table. You have the 360 degree swivel cord and the clamp, of course, on the actual wand. Of course, we also have our digital display to tell us our temperatures and our adjustment buttons to raise or lower the temperature as well as the power button. For the power button, you do have to hold it down for a second for it to turn on. This wand also does come with a heat glove. And one thing I notice is whenever I get a heat glove in a hot tool packaging, it's really never that thick but this one i really like it's just a bit short on my hand we also are using the caracol tangle buster detangler brush to detangle and just brush out our hair before we curl it y'all know i'm obsessed with this brush i use it in every video so of course first you want to section out your hair and as your heat protecting in i like to brush it out to disperse the product then you wanna part it and just go ahead and start curling. This was actually very easy to do for my first time. This curling wand actually made it very easy to do. And all you have to do is put that piece of hair in between the clamp of the wand and start twisting the hair all around the curling wand. You can actually give your hair a twist and it'll give it a nicer effect as you're putting it on the wand. I did speed this up so the video wouldn't be too long, but you do want to keep this in your hair for about 30 to 40 seconds. And oh my gosh, guys, do you see that? I was literally so surprised. After that, you just want to set it with whatever styling spray you want to use. As said, I'm using the Leaf Legacy one. And I don't want a heavy curl, so I'm going to be actually sectioning the curls out after I'm done with them. Also, I did mess up on this piece, so I just redid it again. Like I said, it is my first time, but I got the hang of it pretty quick. From there, you're pretty much just doing the same thing over and over and over again until you're done with the sections in your hair. I do want to do this again in smaller sections because that's actually the reason I didn't do an intro and an outro for this video because it would have been too long. We actually had to turn on my ring light and I didn't have enough light so I just didn't bother to do an intro and outro. I said I'll do it with the voice over it. So here we are and now I'm pretty much just going to get more into product specs and details and all that good stuff. Now this is how it's coming out. I'm going to just keep doing the rest of my hair until it's all finished. You guys can keep watching. So we're going to start with the heat protectant spray. It is meant to help repair, prevent, and protect. So it does help repair that damage done by heat. This is also $11 at Walmart, which makes it really affordable. And it's also made with clean natural ingredients we have sweet almond oil and coconut oil aloe vera and botanical extracts as well as avocado oil it protects up to 450 degrees of heat it also hydrates and nourishes with all those good ingredients it strengthens while protecting your hair it also prevents split ends and, and allows less breakage if you guys don't know already what a heat protectant does, it is meant to reduce damage caused by heat styling tools up to that recommended temperature, which was 450. You also get smooth, frizz-free results. It's safe for everyday use. And one thing I did forget, it contains castor oil, which is really beneficial for everything. I use castor oil for my nails, my eyebrows. You can pretty much use castor oil for everything in beauty. The whole Kim Kimball line is more specifically designed for wavy, curly, kinky hair. And I believe all of the products are color safe. 
This product is formulated for natural hair, but she does also focus on protective styles as well as extensions. There's also hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed collagen, and panthenol, as well as fragrance. The fragrance is very light in here. You barely smell it. So. And now let's get on to the curling wand. So I, so I told you some of the features earlier, but we're going to get more into it. This curling wand is only $30. It's actually $26.97 at Walmart. Amazing for that price. I just have to say that because I really enjoyed using this. I will continue to use this. I have a few waving tools. Of course, I have two-in-one products, but they really don't do its job like a curling wand. Claims on this baby is to give salon-worthy curls and waves. It's supposed to defy frizz and fly away with tourmaline and ceramic coating. Because of the design, it's supposed to give a consistent heat across the entire length of the barrel for that smooth, healthy, longer-lasting curls within seconds. This also features a non-stick barrel, meaning you can use whatever products you want and it won't stick onto it. It also claims to have a ultra-fast heat up and recovery time, which I can say it does. I've tried a few Tourmaline products that took forever to heat up, and I've tried some good ones. This is one of the best ones, I'd have to say, for fast heat up time. Also, another thing I love about this is it has a auto shut off time of 60 minutes, which means after 60 minutes, it will turn off if you're not using it, which I have been absolutely obsessed with. And one reason why I've been loving this is because a lot of my other products that have a shut off time have a very quick shut off time. It'll be like half an hour or 40 minutes and my long hair does not get done within that time. I can't do it. It just does not work. So she also came with the 60 minute time, which I've been loving, along with that fast heat up time. So I completely forgot our disclaimers. So we're just gonna go ahead and let you guys know real quick. This video is sponsored by Beauty Tap and Kim Kimball in exchange for 100% honest reviews. Brands never influence my reviews. I never feel obligated to write a five-star review. Anyway, we don't do that here, so yes, all honest. You guys can check out my verified beauty expert review over at beautytap.com. The links will be all mentioned down in the description box below, including any products mentioned in this video. Beauty Tap is always giving us the chance to try new beauty products and brands. And I'm just so thankful for them because they also help me to create more content for you guys weekly. I did also just want to mention a couple products I use to prep my hair. We wash our hair about once a week because I don't like to take out all the necessary oils. But when we do wash it, I do like to use the Leaf Legacy Hemp and Avocado Shampoo. We usually use the conditioner as well, but... We've been using the K18 Molecular Hair Repair Mask to just repair some damage. So we used that as well as the Kim Kimball Curly Buttercream after our hair was wet and saturated. So we also have some of that in there. You guys know I had to watch some tutorials to make sure I was doing this right. So as you could see here, I actually didn't on one side. So what I found was really helpful. And what I've seen other people do is you can take the barrel of the curling wand and actually tame down whatever part you messed up on or whatever might be frizzy at the top just by rolling the barrel down softly on it. So as you guys see here, it is starting to get dark. I had to turn on my ring light, so excuse the lighting. But this is how the hair is coming out. It's looking gorgeous. I'm absolutely obsessed, guys. Like, this is my only curling tool I'm probably going to be using. I have a beach waver, which I'll probably use here and there. But if I want some real curls, I'm definitely going to do this. 
Uh, my husband loves when I curl my hair, and I guess a lot of you guys do too because I've done it before, and y'all thought it came out amazing. So I think I'm gonna be doing it some more. My only problem is I can't stand the amount of time it takes. So as you guys saw, this did take a little bit. I think I was sitting here filming for maybe three or four hours. I think we started around two and we finished around five or six, but I am filming. So, so it would have took me a faster amount of time if I wasn't. So just know that it probably would have only took me like an hour. So don't come at me. I didn't have enough hair clips, guys. I mean, a girl got to do what they got to do. I do definitely need to get some more clips, though, because I have too much hair for this. It's so crazy, and I feel all over the place. So see here, we're taking the front part of my hair, which I usually tend to have the most frizz, and just doing that top lay down with the barrel. After this, we're pretty much finished. That's the last piece. And as for reviews, both these products get a fantastic five stars. Y'all know I love a good product. And I mean, just look at this curl. It's so bouncy. It's so juicy. It just looks gorgeous. Absolutely obsessed. And now I'm just going to brush them out. And you guys are going to see the final look as I'm brushing it out. Just to disperse it because, as said, this probably would have looked better if I did it in smaller sections as curls. I wanted to do more of a wavy effect, so we did, and it came out amazing. Please, if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and more tutorials like this. Become a part of the beauty family. We love beauty here on YouTube, and I know you do too. Don't forget to follow me on socials at Midnight Moon Makeup. Also, please don't forget to thumbs up the video if you did enjoy it. And, and leave a comment. Leave your thoughts. Let me know if this video helped you curling your hair. If this was your first time curling your hair. And how you liked the overall look. Next week, we'll be having a fun makeup review. So... So we are going to be reviewing some products from CoverGirl next week. So please stay tuned, guys. We will be back next Thursday, as always, with another video at 11 a.m. And as always, y'all stay beautifully awesome. Later.